come is from. And she put on a wig. That's where you get the wig from. <laughs> she painted her face. That's where you get all these paintings from. Yes. Prostitution. That time, she practiced in the house, in the church. She built one of the things that just bought it. She built a very big church in Jerusalem. You know, in Samaria, the capital. And inside of the church, they didn't come to worship God. They were worshiping Baal. And the Baal worship constituted having sex. Men against men, women will make women. That is what is going on in our times. Yes. Women for women and men for men. It is an idolatry and it is an abomination. And it is the worship of the Jezebel. And we need to assassinate Jezebel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And once Jehu appeared onto the screen, and Jezebel was able to sensitize and smell the anointing coming to assassinate her. The Bible says that Jezebel put on a wig. She painted her face and put on a very sexy, smashy dress so that she would be able to entice Jehu. And Jehu was smart for that. He said, mm, I won't face Jezebel myself, but I will orchestrate her. I will utter the anointing of the eunuchs because the eunuchs, they don't have manhood. They are not the figure, by the shape and the type and kind. Uh, they are not sensitized by the mini skirt and the dresses. Uh, they are not moved by the waves and the word shapes. Uh, they are not moved by the curse, the Beyonce Coca-Cola Fanta shapes. Uh, they are not moved by God. No, 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 no. no. Because they don't have any feelings. Uh, they don't have any feelings. Uh, they are not moved by sex. They are not moved by money. They are not moved by what gets. Uh, they don't care about the compliments. Uh, they are moved by something else. Uh, and were what pushed her when she stepped out of the bedroom uh, with her 90 on her, uh, with her what her body showing her, uh, with her figure coming her, uh, with her spirit of seduction uh, coming together. Uh, the eunuchs closed their eyes, uh, they went straight, uh, they grabbed Jezebel uh, and they pushed her up the wall of Jezreel uh, while Jezebel fell down uh, and Jezebel was eaten by dogs. Today I lift up my hands. Uh, any Jezebel in your life, uh, any Jezebel in the church, uh, may they be pushed out, uh, may they be pushed out, uh, may they be eaten by dogs. Because you cannot allow Jezebel to live. No, it's not possible. Hallelujah. Because if you allow Jezebel to give birth to Atalia in your life, you are done. Because it was Natalia, the daughter of Jezebel, who made up her mind that because you have assassinated my mother, you have assassinated my children, I will kill the entire lineage of Judah. And if it wasn't by the mercies of God, they would have eliminated the lineage that was to bring Christ into the world. But God preserved one king, a small boy. Natalia, a dangerous spirit. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. But Adalia was also killed. Hallelujah. Amen. Look, if you don't take care about Jezebel, the Bible says that it is this same seduction. It is a seduction spirit, okay? It seduces men. This same Jezebel, it entered David's family. David, 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 the singer, the prophet. It entered into his house. And his father, his father, Jesse, 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 Jesse. Yes, Jesse was his name, Jesse. Yes, he saw a woman and impregnated her and gave birth to David. David's mother was never married. That's why David, all his brothers were trained, went to best schools, Harvard and Cambridge and everything. But David was trained in the forest because her mother was never wedded in the white house. She never belonged, she never had a matrimonial home. David. That's why David, out of composition and bitterness, bitterness, offense, she produced the songs in the book of Psalms. Spirit of Jezebel. Very wicked. Very wicked. They didn't stop the spirit of Jezebel. When that went on, when David came, the spirit of Jezebel bite and stung David. And he saw a very black woman named Bathsheba. She was an Ethiopian. Black, chocolate color. Smooth, smooth, with a skill, with some sort of sexiness and appetizer. She was bathing in, on, on, in her what? bathtub under a very nice tree. And when men went to war, David was at home. She's a very black African lady, and her 
eyes couldn't get off her. That spirit had bitten, caught this spell, and had bitten who? David. If you don't take care in the church, you sleep with all the women. Yes. You don't take care as a woman, you sleep with all the men. But the reference is to another said, if you are a man and you are slept with two men, women in the church, relocate from the continent and go to other continent. Martini me kababa. It hit David and David is in bed with Bathsheba. And it is not that David couldn't kill the spirit of Jezebel. It went on to Solomon and asked for Solomon we can't stop. <laughs> 700 wives and 300 concubines. The spirit was tripled and quadrupled and tassuled. My God. She slept with all the women until she died. He died in an outdoor house. Spirit of this girl. Very wicked. They didn't stop the spirit of this girl in the time of Solomon. It entered at Solomon. He also slept with her own sister. Spirit of this girl. In Samson's case, the spirit of this girl entered Delilah. And Delilah put Samson on the laps. Be careful, don't put your head on any girl's lap. The day you put your head on any girl's lap, the spirit of this girl will appear. And it doesn't matter how anointed you are. It doesn't matter whether you are an archbishop, a pope. You will be seduced. And before you know, you are carrying a witch baby. Yes, you will kill. Yes, you will kill. And the spirit in the church, and the spirit. 
eternal Lord. Say, Father Lord, Father Lord, I dip my right hand into the blood of Jesus and I arrest, I arrest any Jezebel in my family, in my life, in the church. I arrest, I arrest it in Jesus' name and I pick up the knife, I pick up the sword, I assassinate Jezebel, I assassinate Jezebel, I cut off her head. She has no passion in me. In the name of Jesus, let me have a
Mighty 